So what makes a good question? That's a good one, but here's a better one. How do you define a problem? You start by gathering information about it. You might think defining a problem is easy. It's that thing you've all been talking about for ages. It's obvious. But when you focus in and start to unpick the issue, you often find that what you thought was the problem is in fact just a symptom of a deeper problem. This is where the problem definition tool comes in. This wonderful tool opens up a problem for examination and starts to explore the wider context and issues involved. It's particularly good at getting your team focused on the key issues at hand and makes the best use of your time by giving you all a shared and structured perspective. The problem definition tool introduces a simple set of criteria as key questions to help explore your problem. This standardised approach also helps you compare problems, even those that might at first seem to be unrelated. You build a set of good questions that are worthwhile answering. And don't forget to bring in all sorts of people who encounter the problem. Get different angles. Feel free to experiment and rephrase questions in the worksheet to keep the activity fresh and relevant to everyone involved. Once you get inside the problem, the tool gives you a framework for dissecting it for analysis. And then comes the great part. You reassemble the problem in a way that helps you see the opportunities for solving it. I'm Dr. Chiring Lama, Content Director of Childish Nepal. My top tip is about the problem definition tool. Make sure you spend equal time on all the sections, including the last ones. Once we understand a problem, it can be surprisingly easy to see it from a better angle.